This video is a short introduction to the use of tables in OpenOffice.org Writer. Tables are a very useful alternative to using tabs. They allow you to organize information into columns and rows, that is, the rows running horizontally and the columns running vertically, and each intersection of that row or column is called a cell, and that cell makes up a very easy to use grid. To create a new table, click the Insert menu and choose Table. The Insert Table dialog box appears where you can name your table, which is generally not necessary. You can specify the number of columns and rows you want for your table, and you can also specify some formatting options if you want to. Often it's just fine to click OK immediately since any of these options can be adjusted later. By default, table cells display with each cell outlined by a thin black border. Even if that border is removed, the cells will still be outlined with light gray lines which don't print called grid lines. Grid lines help to define the structure of the table as you're working on it. Once you create a table and click on any of its cells, the table toolbar will display, either as a floating window or as a dock toolbar, depending on how you've set up your window. When the table is first created, using the insert table command as I just did, all of the cells are the same size and the table fills the space between the margins. Moving around the table is pretty intuitive. Click to position your cursor in any cell. Once your cursor is in any inner cell, you can just type whatever you need or you can paste images or text into the cell. The cell size is dynamic. It will automatically adjust itself as you enter your data. A cell is a bit like a tiny document. If, as you're typing, you reach the end of the cell, as you see I did here, WordWrap will move the text down to the next line and will make the current row deeper to accommodate the text lines. So you see that this cell here is also deeper because this one is. Each row must have the same height in all of its cells. Pressing Enter in a cell will create a new paragraph within a cell. We'll move this out of the way. We see the new cat paragraph. Okay. If you want to move the cell, move between the cells using the keyboard, you can press Tab to move to the next cell and Shift Tab to move to the previous cell. If I hold down Shift Tab, my cursor moves to the previous cell. I'm hitting Tab and my cursor moves to the next cell. Notice though that because I'm in the final cell of the table, if I press tab now, a new row will be created, which is why when you create a table, you can just accept the two row default and then as you type your data in, the table will accommodate itself automatically.